Martha Gellhorn is famous, obviously, as being the only woman who reported on the D-Day landings or who was actually there. Um, and yeah, she's no, I mean, the, she's sort of remembered for two things. One is her incredible career as a war correspondent. And the other, sadly, is her marriage to Ernest Hemingway. And both of those kind of facets of her identity are sort of cemented in Spain. She hadn't been a war, she hadn't really been a journalist before she came to Spain. Um, and what she does so brilliantly is that she writes these kind of long pieces of reportage. She has a very kind of elegant, um, very sort of emphatic voice in, in print. Um, and what she, you know, she's not just kind of reporting on the latest statistics or what the, you know, the armies are doing, but she's kind of zeroing in on individuals sometimes. And she's writing in this kind of literary style. She allows for sections of um, description. So it's, she's bringing these kind of devices that fiction would normally use to her reporting. And what she's trying to do is kind of bring what is happening in Spain home to readers, maybe in the US, she's writing for Colliers, which is, has a sort of mass audience in the US, and making them, you know, making them almost sort of recognise what's happening in Spain, recognise Spaniards as something not kind of foreign to them, but something that has significance for them. And there are sort of these moments in her articles where she says, you know, it's like walking through New York, walking through Madrid, but then you suddenly stumble upon a barricade or a trench or something. You know, she's trying to bring that home to people because one of the, the kind of standout things about the Spanish Civil War that's so shocking to Europe at that time is that it's the first time when, a, you know, major European cities are being bombarded. Um, you know, this is before the Blitz. Nobody's seen, nobody in Europe, I mean, it's happened in other parts of the world, but nobody in Europe has seen civilians being targeted in this way. So, you know, you could sort of imagine, this is a moment where you can imagine possibly London could be bombed or New York could be bombed. Um, so she is trying to kind of bring that home to readers. And she really believes that the reason why people don't kind of protest things like that is because they don't know about it. You know, when she first starts writing, she really thinks that if she just makes people realise what's happening, then it will naturally follow that there will be this kind of outrage that will kind of make a difference.